Welcome back, Glam Fam. It's your girl, Angela Denise, and I am here with you today with a makeup tutorial focusing in on Cover FX. So today I am using a majority Cover FX makeup products. So we're going to be using the Cover FX foundation, concealer, we have their loose powders, and then I have some of their newer products, um, the Cover FX monochromatic duos, the blush and the bronzer, and their new gripping primer that they came out with a few months back um in addition to the cover fx products i'm going to throw in a few other things that i've already had in my collection so um what i'm doing here is i'm kind of doing some fusion videos i'm using some old products that i have in my collection in addition to some new products in my collection but focusing in on a particular company so if you are interested in how i created this look just keep on watching Okay, let's go ahead and start out by priming the face. And today I'm going to be using the Cover FX Gripping Primer and the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Acne Treatment. I'm going to use this all over the face and I'm going to put the Mattifying Primer in my T-zone area where I tend to get oily. So the Gripping Primer is like a tacky primer, similar to the Milk Makeup Primer, that Gripping Primer that they have. Okay, then I'm going to take the mattifying primer okay so my face is tacky so today we are focusing in on cover effects so we're going to go ahead and use one of my favorite foundations the cover effects power play foundations i do have two different shades here i have shades n85 and g90 so for my mixture today i'm going to use two-thirds n85 and then one-third g90 i'm going to mix it together on the back of my hand with my concealer brush and basically this is the shade that i have from that mixture all right so i always let my primer sit on the face for 30 seconds uh to a minute before i start in on my foundation that's just a thing that i like to do so let me go ahead and apply my foundation then I'm gonna blend that out with a Morphe E54 brush. I'm gonna spray my face with some of my Hangover 3-in-1 primer first. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go in with my Sonia Kashuk sponge and I just go in with a sponge after I apply my foundations with a brush. That is just what I do just to make sure that we're even. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite concealers. And this is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is the shade uh, In Deep One. When I apply my concealers, I let them sit on the skin for about 15 seconds or so before blending them out just so I can have max coverage. Okay. 
Okay, so I wanna go ahead and add some brightness to the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Born This Way Concealer. And this one is in the shade Honey. It's, it's pretty light, but I'm using this one to add brightness. So I'm not gonna use a lot. Okay, so that is gonna add brightness to the complexion. Let me blend out my forehead. So I want to go ahead and go in under the eye with my setting powder. Um, I want to mention that I do have both of the Cover FX loose setting powders, the light and deep, but I don't really like those powders under my eye. So I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty baking powder, and this is in the shade Blondie. I'm going to go in initially, and I'm only going to set the face, but then I'll go back in later and do some baking. So to set the under eye, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush and Blondie and just pat, just patting a normal amount up under the eye. Because we are not baking yet, we're not baking. Okay, so under eyes are set what we want to do now is go in and set the face so i'm just going to take a mixture of both light and deep mostly deep just a little bit of light so i'm going to be taking my um Chukahoto powder brush and i'm going to be using my 50 50 mix of the deep powder and then the light translucent powder together and i'm just going to take that and set my face Okay, so now that we are set, I really do like the Cover FX Loose Setting Powders too, by the way. They are really good, especially if you have really, really oily skin. I only like to use these during summertime when I wanna really control the oil. Um, I don't use these at any other time of the year because I do find them to be, um, they can be a little dry. I'm going to go in and sculpt my nose and my cheekbones with my physician's formula. Um, sculpting bronzer that's what I've been using and loving lately to add uh, basically a contour to my face all right so for the fun part today um, I have the cover effects monochromatic blush duo in spiced cinnamon and I also have the bronzer in suntan bronze so we're gonna go ahead and apply suntan bronze and then the blush after I'm gonna be using my Chukahoto cheek brush to, actually I wanna bronze first. Um, I'm gonna be using my Sephora 59 Precision Powder Brush to apply the bronzer with. It's very pigmented and powdery. So you kinda of have to be careful. So I'm deciding to swirl my brush in both the, the shimmer and the matte portion. All right, so hoping that you can see the difference. This is the bronze side of my face versus the unbronzed side of my face. Um, I wanna go in with a little bit more of that shimmer shade, the shimmer side of the duo, and just concentrate that in on the top part of my cheek because I won't be wearing any highlight today because I want to utilize 
the glow in here. And um, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. I like it. All right. So let's bronze up the other side. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my spiced cinnamon blush. I am so excited about this blush. And I'm going to use mostly the satin matte portion. Y'all, I think it is so, so pretty. Um, I'm gonna go and look in another lighting situation to kind of make sure that it's a, as pretty as I think it is. Before I do that, I wanna go ahead and buff my face. And I'm gonna be using one of my favorite buffing powders. This is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder in my Chekahoto powder brush. And I'm just gonna pick up a nice amount of that powder and go in and just buff the face like this. Okay, so I did apply too much bronzer. I looked at it in some different lighting, um, but you know what? That is okay because we're gonna fix it. So what I'm gonna do is to prepare for my eyes, I'm gonna do something really nice and simple on the eye. Um, I'm gonna take some of my Huda Beauty baking powder And we are applying a generous amount because we are baking and I want to catch the fallout. Then I'm gonna go in my Cover FX, the translucent light and put that on the inner portion. Like so. So let's dive into the eyes because I don't want to be baking too long. So I'm going to go into the Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Bronze Temptation. I'm going to pick up the color Corruption on a Morphe M441 brush. This is a Sonia G uh, Blender Pro. I'm gonna be going into the shade, um, um, this dark brown color in a Blender Pro. I'm just gonna deepen up the outer corner of the eye. That's it. And blend it towards the crease. All right, so keeping it kind of simple, I'll go back and do some more blending here in this in a sec. Um, I'm gonna be picking up my Mothership 3 Sublime palette. This one was my first large Mothership palette. And I, I wanna use the color Gigabyte today. And it's this color here. That's what we're doing today. I'm gonna take my Sonya G Builder Pro, not wetting it or anything. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my finger
Okay. Going back in with my Morphe M441. Then the Builder Pro. Uh, I don't know exactly which color this is, but I'm going to go in with this color on the inner teared up. Okay. Let's finish this thing. I want to go in under the eye. This medium brown color. All right, so what I'm gonna do is hop off camera. I'm gonna apply my mascara and my Lily Lashes in Hollywood that I have been wearing here lately. And uh, I'll be right back to do lips. Okay, so today for my lips, I'm gonna be using one lipstick that I've been obsessed with and that is the Becca Lipstick Love. And this is the shade Cupid's Kiss. I'm gonna be wearing that today with my Hot Sauce from Sephora Lip Liner. Okay, this is Cupid's Kiss. Yep, this is what I like. Looks good. I really do like the way my makeup turned out today. So um, I really am loving these type of fusion videos. This was basically a cover FX focused makeup routine um, in addition with trying new makeup and also using some old products that I have in my collection. So let's do a really quick rundown on products that I haven't used in a while and also, and also products that I have used for the very first time today. All right, first things first, I haven't used the Cover FX foundation, I would say in at least three or four months now, and I love it just as much as I used to. And I really think that it's a beautiful foundation, perfect for this time of year. If you're looking for something, if you have anywhere between combination normal um, and oily skin, this is a great foundation for a summertime. I absolutely love this foundation. Um, what else haven't I used? All right, so it's been a minute since I used the Cover FX Loose Setting Powders. I do think that these are amazing for combo oily skin types for summertime. I do love the texture and they are truly a translucent powder. So um, if you are interested, I suggest you check out the mini travel size that I have. Um, I think they're like $20 or something like that at Sephora. I really do like this powder. Cover FX Primers. This is the gripping primer and this is the mattifying primer so I really do love love the gripping primer um, I don't feel tacky right now but after I applied it initially in the video it was tacky I applied the foundation it really seemed like it would really hold my foundation in place and I'm really glad that I decided to go ahead and try this one out um, it is a very unique jelly texture um, it does leave the skin looking very flawless even before you put on the foundation. So I'm really liking this primer and this one I'm not too sure about. This is the mattifying primer. Um, I would have to use it a few more times 
Now I'm matte, but I'm not too matte. So, so far it's okay. Um, the texture is okay. Um, I would say it's kind of like a middle, uh, middle of the road mattifying primer. I really do prefer my MAC Refine Zone. Um, the Makeup Forever mattifying primer. Um, there's a few other mattifying primers that I would reach for before this one, but it's an okay primer. If you have it in your collection, just use it just like I am. Pretty much the highlight of the day for me. These are the Cover FX Monochromatic Duos, the blusher and bronzer. I absolutely love these. These are bomb. I'm so glad that I decided to go ahead and check them out. Honestly, at this point with this blush, um, I'm definitely going to pick up at least one or two more shades from this collection. I absolutely love these. I love the texture. I love that they're the dual chromatic um, textures in it. And I think these are perfect for this time of year. Um, new concept with the duo uh, monochromatic theme. I love it. I absolutely love the texture of both the blush and the bronzer. I think that they are absolutely beautiful. The bronzer, um, it's really intense. So I did go overboard initially, but you know, I'm going to be bronzed and glowy today. So whatever. Um, I really do like the way this turned out. I really do. Um, and I really can't say enough about the cover effects uh, duos. These are the bomb. I think that I've talked about this enough on my channel, especially when it first came out, but the cover effects, um, the cover effects power play concealer is actually one of my favorite concealers that I have in my collection. So I won't go on and on about it, but yeah, this is a great concealer. I absolutely love it. And, um, if I know that I did a demo of concealers on my channel a few months back and this was featured in it. So this is one that I absolutely love and will continue to use. Um, what else do we have? My Pat McGrath Mothership 3. I haven't used this one here in a few months and I love it. I do like the look that I uh, came up with. It's not my best look, but I had to use Gigabyte, that green color. I had to use this today. It just, I opened the palette and it spoke to me. So I had to use this. This is one of my favorite Pat McGrath palettes, probably the my favorite out of all of her Mothership palettes. And a close second would be the Mothership 5. But yeah, I love Pat McGrath's eyeshadows. You guys already know that. Um, Yeah, so Huda Beauty Baking Powder. I haven't used this one in a while. And I really don't talk about it that much on my channel, but y'all, this is a bomb baking powder and blondie is the perfect shade for my nc46 skin tone that's kind of teetering over to nc47 as we progress through summertime but this is a perfect baking powder i love the texture the consistency and the color it's just perfect it's the bomb love it so yeah i think this is going to wrap up today's uh, makeup look you guys leave comments down below as to which other brands you would like for me to focus in on. And until the next time, I will see you later. Bye.